guys hey peace jersey history hunters here just wanted to say hello thank you for watching we're here on another adventure yeah. and if you haven't already hit subscribe definitely hit the thumbs up because the more thumbs ups we get the more we show up in recommendations the more we get viewed and the more fun we have yeah it's fun and we get to meet new people and follow their pages and I love doing that plus we're funny to look at <laughs> <laughs> this place is awesome though yeah I don't know I'm starting to think we're woods gals I love the woods I don't like permissions all the time no you know, I like them once in a while to mix it up is. I love the woods fields are good not yeah. right now but in another season we'll do some farm fields and uh and i, I gotta say it's probably like 50 50 on our finds but between just finding a clearing or researching we tend to find stuff on both yeah you know like yeah. i research an area we'll find goodies and we're just like look that's empty over there we could swing and then we'll go swing in there yeah we stray a lot <laughs> on the way to the place we research yeah, we're we walking, still haven't gotten like, to the Ooh, other, an open space. The other two home sites. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made it that far yet, and Months, it's really we're not. We're trying to get there. We, we walk do, a little, yeah. and anyway, we're gonna get to digging. And as soon as we get something cool, we'll let you know. Yippers! See, See. It might be an hour for us, but it's gonna be like literally a second for you. Yeah, it's magic. Here we come. Look. Super excited. I just dug this. It was like three inches, yeah. maybe. I, oh, dude. It's a trine. Oh, God. I can't. This is. I love this. I love it. I just love it. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Can you see a year? Uh, maybe with this. Yeah. Dude, I'm so... <laughs> well, I have to clean it up a little more. I'll have to clean it a little more. Yeah. I lost my thing with my toothpicks. But... Well, I could use water on that. That's... Yeah. Look at the pretty head on that. Oh, I could almost make it out. It looks like an 88. Let's try with the phone. I, I can make out the 88 under her head, but that's it. That's the back. Ah, okay. <laughs> I flipped it over the right that's way for perfect. a minute. 
Ah, oh, dude, I love it. All right, Rachel, calling me over. There's, she found one of my favorite things. Oh, dude, that is huge. Nice. Workhorse, plow horse. That's a workhorse shoe. It's got the clip in the front. That's nice. Heavy. Let me see. Look at that, dude. Probably a single, most Knox users probably wouldn't have dug because it was all over the place and I put it on all metal. I could hear the iron in it, but I'm still trying to learn. So I knew it was iron and I knew it had curvature. Yeah. Yeah, it still has Wee! actually a nail Put your in head there. right in there. It's a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here you go. That's awesome. Very cool. I don't have anywhere to put it. Right this is a cool it's spot. Heavy. It's all low and then all high, very high. I have to remember. It's a steep okay. hill. Take I'm gonna leave place. it by the tree. I'll pick it up on the way out. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Mm, look at that big sucker. It's huge. And just make it worse. Anyway, big bullet. <sighs> I love this hobby. I don't love bullets, but I love this hobby. <laughs> deer. And she's just hanging out looking at us. Hello, dear. Hi. Where you going? Such a pretty girl. Such a pretty girl. Okay, I'm wasting daylight. I'll see you later. <laughs> Don't come any closer, please. Thank you. See ya. Oh, so cute. All right. Next. So I know it's getting dark, but this is either a pull tab or a coin. I can't tell. Hmm. <laughs> I want it. I want it to be something other than a pull tab or a washer. I want it to be a coin or a button or a key. And it is dun 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 a pull tab. Bazinga! Dang it! All right, on to the next. Rachel just got a silver quarter. We'll film it later. Oh, a dime. Sorry. All right. There's my pull tab. I'm going to frame it. See you later. Rachel got an awesome signal here. So. Yeah, on the knocks, it was like a 31, 33. All right. <sighs> There's no volume control on it. Stop touching it. Whew, that was a steep hill, man, and it's humid. Yeah. And it's dark. And it's dark. I don't know. I'm roots. <laughs> oh, that's trash. Oh, what is it, though? Ah. Oh, that's not trash. That's cool. That's some type of spigot cover. I don't know what it is. Some type of plug cover thing. What was that? I like it. I guess it gave off for the high signal because it's uh, round. Look at that. <laughs> that's some type of. See, not uh, every you know. live dig is silver. <laughs> Crank up the tractor. Sometimes plug up the hole. You dig up the silver without being live. Yeah, I think it's a sixty-two dime. Yeah. Can't tell really yet. Later we can. All right. Here's your cool thing. Yeah, See you in a bit. All right, guys. So I was so excited I couldn't even film before. Uh -huh, I love it. Nice. It's 18. I think it says 65. 
That's the first year, actually, of the three cent piece. So excited about this, you know, because I've been detecting many, many years. Yep. <laughs> Over 25 years. Not to date myself or anything, but I've never found one of these. This is a first. Like your uh, Barber Dimes and your V-Nickel. Remember yep. that feeling? That's a feeling I got. I love this hobby. I love it. Awesome! Hey, hi! <laughs> so, uh... I'm super excited. I can't even stop looking at it. All right, well, so... I'm doing a little staring myself. So. Yeah. We'll put this in our Jersey History Hunters display case. And we'll get back to you soon. See you in a bit. Hey guys, Jersey History Hunters here. And today we have a guest. Hi! <laughs> this is Mama Patty D. Better known as... AKA. AKA. <laughs> uh, so... We became friends through our photography group. Yes, Black Glass Gallery. We love Black <laughs> Glass Gallery. Say that fast three times. I can't, I can't say <laughs> it slow very well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to go detect at a place. <laughs> as long as I stop sneezing. Rachel researched this one and uh, found some old home sites here. And Mama Patty D. <laughs> lives near here and knows that there were old houses here, right? Definitely. So we're going to check them out and see what we can find. Yay! Mm -hmm. So we'll get to digging and see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just at this old home site, uh, just wanted to show this. Looks like it could have been an old well or something at one point. There's old bricks in there and they had covered it up. So I'm definitely going to swing around here. There's those guys going out there. Alright, see you in a bit. So unbelievably, just found another geocache. Ha! Let's see what this one is. I'm not going to get all into this, but there's trinkets in there and a log book. Sign your name. I'll figure out which one it is from my geocache count and just uh, mark it off as found for this location. Always seal it back up so the water don't get in if it's a screw top. And put it back where you found it. Ugh. Which was basically just under here. Alright. Cool place. On to the next. Hi Rachel. Hi. <laughs> I don't know where Patty is. We lost our guest. <laughs> right, guys. Just pulled this weedy. It's a uh, 30s. 1930 something. Alright, be back in a bit. Look at that. Quarter and a dime. Very cool. It is very cool. I like this guy better. You like the dime better? <laughs> yeah, he's older. Yeah. I found a wee penny, but nothing really good so far. Hey. I can't make out the year. Change is always good. Awesome! Good job. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. They're not going in the oh, bank. Look, I found some keys. I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going in the bank. <laughs> Put them in a jar. They look good in an old mason jar. I put yeah. on my shotgun shells and bullets and change in jars. That's why I was debating on that, but I don't think it's a. I don't think it's worthy. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, I was just digging down there and there's just nothing but roots and there's this teeny tiny slit that I had to dig in between and around these roots. I pulled this up. 
And I have no idea what it is. If any of you know. It's very cool. I love the patina. It almost looks like a suspender clip thing. You know what I mean? But, I don't know about that. It's, it's very cool. Alright. On to the next. See you in a bit. Hey guys. Got this pretty cool signal here. And, oh man, if this is a little curdle bell, I will be super happy because I was just talking about that last night. Oh my goodness. I think it might be, but I'm not sure. Let me clean this up. Dude, this is awesome, whatever it is. I hope it's curdle bell. Let me clean it up. Be right back. This is crazy. I was just saying last night, I wanted to find a bell. I really can't believe it. It's beautiful. I love it. I just love it. Last night is basically part one of this same video. I said, hey Rachel, you know what I haven't found all of? A little crotal bell. I wanted a big one, but this is beautiful. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I love it. On to the next. It's a beautiful park here. Um, looking back on the old maps, there were quite a few homes. One still stood for probably up until 50 years ago or something. And I know I'm not the first to research and do map overlays and uh, look on older or newer maps without overlays using landmarks to find the approximate locations of habitation. So I was in that little clump of trees over there earlier and I was pretty sure there's been a digger here because I found a plug. I mean, I checked to make sure it wasn't an anthill. It wasn't. It was like a perfectly cut plug. I'll give them that. And a hole that I guess the past rains we've had have filled in a little bit. So I left it. It's in the middle of the woods. And the hole's pretty much filled in from the rain. So I left it. And then I'll come over here. Now this is a clearing. Okay. Nice little clearing. I'm swinging, I'm swinging, and I come across this. I said, oh, maybe it's a gopher hole or groundhog hole or prairie dog, whatever you want to call it. It's not. There's the iron they dug out and chucked off to the side and didn't even bother to fill the freaking hole back in. And it's people like that that give a bad name to metal detectors and make it hard to find places to detect. Really, people, if it's too big to carry out, bury it back. Leave it in the ground. And fill your hole. Have some respect for the hobby. And if you know somebody who does that, or if you are that person and didn't realize, seriously, dude, have some, you know, detecting etiquette. Fill your holes. Thank you. Dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. 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 What was I saying last night in part one of this video that I wish I could find? I haven't found a whole one. Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, Bell. Yes. Nice. Do you believe it? That's crazy. Look at that. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a baby, but, you know, it's not that small, but I could clean that up. Yeah. Yeah, you could tell the thing inside was iron. Yeah, that's trying Ooh, uh dude. maybe a little electrolysis. I don't want to mess with the patina though. Dude. Dude. It's a good day. Yeah, it's hot. It well it's muggy. Uh, just talking to that girl. The one who was hanging out with her dog for like yeah. twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh she's very nice. 
see right there. Uh, I guess we can show what I got on here. Let's show what you got. I found a button. I should have left it in the ground. Baton. <laughs> a baton. A baton. I should have left it there so somebody could dig it up in a hundred years. Because <laughs> it's an old navy button. Like old navy. Literally old navy. <laughs> like this store. Yeah. One day that'll be history. We're yeah. going to bury it somewhere. Yeah. Which reminds me, we have a announcement coming soon, but it's a secret. We'll tell you soon. So we're going to bury that old navy button somewhere. Yeah. And so somebody can find it in a hundred years. Yeah. All right, anything else? Or, uh, no, it's just, just a copper thing. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, going to do a little wrap-up. This cool thing Rachel found. Don't know what it is. You know, goes into some thing and turns it. I like it. I like red. And she got some coinage, silver dime, shotgun shells, the old navy button. She thought this was a ring, which I would have too, until you see the grooves inside. I hate when that happens. <laughs> this old tube thing I found. Don't know what it is. Trash and trash thing. The umbrella top. Lots of other trash. Oh, the umbrella top uh, type thing Rachel found. Very cool. It's like a lady's camisole one. Yeah. It's, definitely old. it's fancy. It's fancy pants. Fancy pants. Can you take that out? Rachel found this old jar for me because I like drawers. Found that big bullet. I don't know what it is. 33 or something. Crotobel I love. I'm going to clean that up. Suspender clip. Trash, 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 and 1865 three cent piece. <laughs> very nice. I'm very happy with that. And that's it for now. Okay. Right? That's it for now. Yeah. I thought we had more. <sighs> A lot of trash. We threw it all out already. Yeah, we did. We'll get rid of this stuff. Alright guys, until next time, which will probably be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Might just make this all one video. Nah, I'm doing this one tonight. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, until next time. Remember, when you start this hobby, don't give up. You will find fun things yeah. in the trash. But you're going to have to have dig the trash. You're going to have a lot of this. Yeah. Until you get to that and the coinage and the jewelry. But it's all worth it. Enjoy the nature and the history. Alright. See you next time.